Welcome to Navastar course. This video will introduce you the settings of a multi-function card. The purpose is to understand the function and operation of multi-function card, such as intelligent power supply control, licensor connection, etc. The multi-function card hardware includes communication ports, functional interfaces, and some components. There are two types of uh, communication ports. One is RS232. The RS232 used here is a crossover cable. And the other is Ethernet port. The functional interface includes 8 power switch terminals, 4 external device interfaces. External devices can be 3D transmitters or light sensors. 3.5 mm audio output interface. This is a clock chip mainly to manage the time of the board. This is a humidity sensor, which can detect humidity. There are two ways to connect multi-function card in the control system. First, when a control room is close to the screen, it can be connected by RS232 as shown in the figure. Second, when a screen is within 100 meters from the control room, it usually uses Ethernet cable connection as shown in the figure. Hardware connection for multi-function card power management is shown in the figure. Open NOAA LCT software. Click Advanced Synchronous System User Login. Enter the password Admin. Click Login. Click Multifunction Card. After enter the Multifunction Card interface, the text on the left operating areas has the same function as the icon below. Click to add. There are two types of adding methods, serial port connection and network port connection. We usually use Ethernet port connection. In the interface of adding multifunction card, you can see the communication port, sending card serial number, Ethernet port serial number and name. And the name can be changed according to your own habit. After filling it out, click OK. You can see the power management in the function area on the left. In the time of power management board area, you can read the time of the multi-function card. Before setting, you can check whether the time of the multi-function card is consistent with the current actual time. If it is inconsistent, Modify the time on the computer to be consistent with the actual time. And then click Set to apply the time on the computer to the multi-function card. The rest of functions in power management require that the power supply of the LED display is physically connected via MFN300. Click Set notes. You can name each channel of power supply for subsequent maintenance use. Start delay. Set the power on delay time of each channel. Emergency stop. Click 
emergency stop under special circumstances. Eight-channel power management will disconnect, so the power supply on the screen will also disconnect. Refresh. Refresh the current status of the power management board. There are three power control modes: manual control, automatic control, and software control. Manual control is mainly used when the ambient light does not change much, such as indoor fixed screens. To open or close the channel, click Start or Stop at the corresponding position. The automatic control is mainly used in occasions where the ambient light changes greatly and frequently. Such as outdoor installations, click the automatic control. You can set opening time and closing time of each channel. The opening time and closing time are set according to customer's needs. It is recommended that the difference between the opening time and closing time of each channel is a few seconds. Set up and click send. The software control is mainly for multiple time periods, or for certain occasions where the screen needs to be powered off on schedule, such as in industrial parks. Select Software Control, click Edit. Select the number of power channels. Select the date. Modify the opening or closing time. Click Add, click OK, click Lock to View. You can see the recent multifunction card usage. Copy can copy the current settings. In addition, click and paste on a multifunction card to copy the settings of the previous multifunction card. Please note that the software control and the manual control are based on the control signal cable connected. The monitoring data requires a monitoring card MON300 connected, which can monitor the temperature, humidity, and working voltage of the multifunction card. Peripheral device can be connected to four peripheral devices. Can be connected to the light sensor NS060, 3D emitter EMT200. After the adding devices, click Refresh to view the status. Click Save to save the external device configuration. Here, we add light sensor. You can see the ambient light detected. Adjust the brightness of the screen according to the ambient light. For details, refer to 06 brightness adjustment video. Program loading is mainly used to modify the programs of the multi-function card, mainly to add new functions and fix bugs. On this interface, enter update password admin to let the hidden program upload interface show. In the program path, click Browse to select Downloaded Program. Click OK and then click Change. After the change is complete, Click Refresh to see if the change is successful. Audio management is to provide audio output when the audio signal passes through the control system. 
if the audio cable directly connects the computer to the sending device. Then select the independent channel. If the video and audio signals are transmitted through the HDMI signal cable, select the HDMI channel here. After selecting it, click Settings and then refresh it to see the setting results. Okay, this is the introduction of the multifunction card setting. Thank you for your watching. See you next time.